good morning. This is uh, Magic again from South County Pool. Uh, today we're gonna do the short tutorial about how to do the backwash procedure in our diving well pump room, the smaller of the two. Uh, here you can see, I didn't open the pump room yet, see that, that white pipe? That's the drain, that's where the dirty water from the backwash is gonna be coming out. So right now uh, I'm gonna open the pump room door and then it's gonna be a little noisy so you might not be able to hear what I will be saying, we'll see. I really only find out after the video is done. All right. Okay. So there is our pump room. You see, that's our controller. First thing what we want to make sure that the heaters or chillers are not running. And if we zoom at the display, there is no red dot on it. That means they are not, which is good. Okay. I just want to point out to, to this one thing, those are the gauges we typically take our pressure from and that's the, that's the before, uh, before the filter and let's see, and that's the one, somewhere there, and that's the one after the filter and they kind of tend to increase as the filters get dirty. So I think they like 11 psi apart right now. I just took the reading. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna zoom out now. See this one here. That's the lever that we need to move in order to begin the backwash procedure. So watch closely. Th this one here is really easy. So. Okay, so now I pointed the camera at this this backwash. That's basically that's what it is. That is the water running backwards through the filter and getting all the dirt out of it and then out to here to the drain. So we lose the portion of our pool water. But basically I want to show you so you can see how dirty uh, this water is. Th this particular one is not going to be as bad because our uh, our uh, dive well is not as heavily used as as our main pool, but we're gonna do the next video with the uh, with the main pool backwash, and then then you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, we typically gonna run it about two, three, three to five minutes, depending how dirty it is. You basically watch the water. I I really don't find this one that dirty at all, but it will it will clear out, and then uh, we are gonna. Uh, pull that lever back and that's basically all there is to it. In a, in a dive well you don't need to stop the pumps to backwash. In the main pool you absolutely do and in, in, in most of uh, in most of setups for the for the big pool. Okay for all I see this water is just where it should be. Here, so we're gonna okay, so, so you guys can see that lever is right now in a down position see so I'm gonna go back in there and uh, put it back in and we'll see if that made any difference in the pressure. So now it typically takes a few minutes to stabilize and uh, refill the filter with water and uh, basically 
bring the pool uh, back to the equilibrium. Of course, that's going to trigger the auto field because we lost portion of the of the water. But uh, basically, what I want to do now. course the, the pumps run at 100 percent typically versus uh, during normal operations uh, they, they would only run around 80 so now that's gonna take a while for for this power to come down to the to the level we, we, we operated at the, the regular operations and of course the, the, the higher higher the power the higher the pressure so uh, for now. 